Yo, what's up, guys? CK Dip in here. I'm Chase. I'm Carson. And today we're going to be doing a dip review on Copenhagen, Copenhagen Mint. Mint. Oh, excuse me. Copenhagen. Oh, shit. That's upside down. Sorry. All right. All right. So, as y'all could tell in the last video, I said that was my daily dip. So, I already know what it tastes like. He does, too. It's just something that we did. All right. So... In the last video, we did this, which I haven't even taken another pitch out of this. I'll probably take one out of it in the morning at work. I don't think I'm going to bring Copenhagen to work in the morning. Alright, so I'll go in and pack us a dip. Maybe you can take a pitch out of this can. Pack one. one. Pack two. Pack, pack one with us, y'all. If you ain't got one in, put one in. If you ain't got one in, then you better already have one in. <laughs> Alright, so... There's my pinch. A little bit smaller than the one I took out of the grizzly bit aside. Wow. What? You want to pinch bigger than yours? Yeah, I don't I'm not gonna take that big of a pinch. I'll tell you what I like more about grizzly and what I like more about Copenhagen in the next video when we do a compare of each other. Which we'll probably film that one tonight too. We filmed this as the same night as we did the review on that one. But we'll film like a, a, a com comparing video where I put a pinch of this and he puts a pinch of this. Let me take it out, put a pinch of this, put and he put a pinch of this. It's not simple. Alright, so packing 10. Um, the pinching, well, actually, packing will be about 7 for me. Pinching 7. And then, like, the taste, it instantly kicks in, so I'll do that on about a f eight or so. And then with a, um, and then with the, um, the buzz, none. Burn is about a two for me. I always get burned off of Copenhagen Mint. Um, that's about it, um, for that. Alright, so, basically... Alright, so basically, I was going to talk about something that I like more about this one inside of this video than this one. But we're doing a review next video. Like, we'll put one of this in and then put one of this in, like I just not explained. Uh, yes, we do have two kinds of Copenhagen in That's basically why I daily. So, you know, this is, this one's my can. This one's his can. Which mine just not fell off. It's okay, though. Alright, so, basically, guys, if you're going to start out with a dip... Uh, I I um, honestly do encourage y'all to try mint. Any kind of mint, it always tastes good. But like, like with the grizzly, it takes a while, as y'all saw in the last video. Honestly, I just I just say start out with pouches. Or if you're gonna go on, just go out full out and try grizzly. You might throw up, but the second time it'll actually taste better. Yeah, which we'll be telling stories in our couple of videos of ours. And um. I'll also explain to you how to dip in school. Like that's pretty easy to dip in school. All right, so like I said, guys, we're gonna have knives in every single one of our videos, basically. Even if it's the exact same knives, we're gonna still show our knives. So I'm gonna start out with Dolus, the uh, nice one. So this is one of my knives. I won this one out of do um, a pheasant hunting competition. I got this one. They gave away like 500 of them. I got this one. I got a plaque and I've got, um, I got a chain like this one, but it broke the same day. Alright, so that's this knife. It's a nice knife, I guess. Um, it's pretty hard to open, so it's, and it's got a spring to shut it. So that's just something cool. And it like won't pop out in your pocket. And it's got a, it's got one of like the trigger to close and open it. Put that knife to the side. So, also, I don't know if it's just me or not. I like designs of knives. This one's got a cool design on it. The wood design. Um. Mm, that's for another video, boy. No, this is for this video. We just showed one. I, I know we're going to show like two of them a day. Actually, yeah, all of them will go away too fast if I show two of them a day. So, I won't show you all this one today. That's a clean knife, but I also like how it's got the golden rivets on it, and then like the circle inside is golden. Golden. This might just be me, but like you said, I like, he likes the details. 
I like to always imprint to the knife. So, like, I'll show you a knife um, in a little bit or uh, a few videos or something. It's got an imprint on it. Now, if you're in country, you might not like the imprint. I don't like the imprint on it. We showed that video. We showed that knife the last video. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, we showed that knife the last video. Remember because you dropped it? Oh, wait, no, the knife. <laughs> no, that's Google. That's my face. Oh, yeah, that video failed. Wait, did we even show knives in the last video? I don't know. We'll find out. If we didn't, sorry. I always show the knives I showed. Um, that's, so the little, that's the little, um, that's a little prize for y'all. Little. Anyways, guys, this video is, like, really short right now. I don't have nothing to talk about. Like, well, let's talk about the full war. Which one? Uh, the, um, neck one. How about you? Uh, this yeah. this story is gonna uh, be about this him. This story is a pretty hard story. I'm gonna take off this for this story. Um, so I was driving a full wheeler. As y'all can see, like I got a, like that really white rind right there. Um, so I was driving a full wheeler. Me and this kid named Dakota was. He was on a razor. Me and him were going like 50 miles an hour. We were freaking flying. It was on the night of the um, solar eclipse, and so. You know, I was just chilling. He comes up to me, hey, you want to go ride four and I can take you to the shows. I've been through these shows thousands of times. And me and him said, we entered at the same time. And then he said, whoever exits its first wins. And this trail is just like, it's barely big enough for the four to go down. It, like, especially a Razor. If y'all don't know what a Razor is, look up a RZR. It'll pop up. And he has a 1000 one. That bitch is bad. We got up to 80 going through those shells one time. Anyways, there's a turnaround spot, and if you're right behind the other person, you can get in front of them every once in a while. I got in front of them. Like, I went. So, basically, this side of the shell is a drop-off. This side's a giant cliff. That the, the razor can go up the cliff, but the four wheeler can't. So, I'm like, all right, I'll take my chances. I went down the cliff, came back up it, got in front of them. We walked around, he got back in front of me, so I'm like, shit. Now, I'll tell and you this. Me and Chase, um, I have never, and when I first went on the trails with him, he goes about, like, he goes, like, I'd say 50 or I 60 down death, the trails. Bro, I thought he was going to cry, my, bro. My, um, and we were going so fast, my, my eyes, I was riding, in, um, I drove down it, too. He told me. He goes, like, 10 miles. He told me, no, 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 not the yes. second time, the first time. He told the me. The second time, he, he told me if I didn't, killed us. He told me if I didn't go fast, and he was um going to fucking make me crash for, like, driving the steering wheel. So, um, because he tried it. Just messing me, or messing around. I found that out. But my eyes, when he went, the t my tear drops in my eyes were Keep red. Keep in mind, he was in the back, back of the pool. Oh, like he was behind me, bro. His freaking, he had tears like this. I was just cruising, bro. Like that's cruising speed to me, bro. I always go fast. You can ask him, bro. We got an old Ford. <sighs> anyway, so back to the story. Um, I got back in front of him. We were coming down through the trails, and there's like, so there's this way, this way, and this way. This way is a little bit longer, but you can always come out front first. This way is like right beside the other person. You, it's just a guessing game who's gonna come out first. So I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna go down the far, far one, and it comes down about 500 feet um, after this one. So it goes like 20 feet, 30 feet, and then like 50 feet. Anyways, it comes down onto a pavement road, and all I saw, all I did was I was going down it, running about 55. This fuller is a work fuller, so it doesn't really have, like, great brakes. So, I look over, he's waving at me, I'm like, oh, what's up? And he goes, he yells, he turns off his thing and jumped out and said, no, stop! I'm like, what? I look over, I see a fucking wire, like, this thing. If it was anything, it would have cut off my head, but I slammed on all the brakes. I mean, all of them. Like, it has a, this was an automatic, so it has a black brake, front brake, back brake down there. Some on the back brake down there, some on the back brake up here. That's the only way you can get this stop. Have Anyways, it didn't stop because of how hard I slammed on the front brakes and went whoosh. Whenever I hit it, it went whoosh. and it, like the wire went all the way up here and then like all the way like this. And he saved his life because of what happened about his helmet. Yeah, I'll talk to y'all that in a second. What the fuck are you doing back there, lizard? So, and we'll show you the fields and stuff. Not, if we go over to his house sooner or later. Now, did they sell the four-wheeler? No, they still have it. Okay, so we'll show you the fields and stuff. and if, um, Yeah, whenever I get a job at next. So, 
It, it wasn't my full wheel. It was my boss's full wheel. He let me drive it. Yeah, we time. drive it up there, and the, we'll show you the fields. If 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 this video gets a ton of likes, and we keep getting likes, we will buy a starter, which he might buy a starter anyways. Uh, and no, we gotta fix it. We gotta move the Ford up here. And so we once we get the Ford, um, we might we'll show you the fields and stuff. Also, up there. guys, um, we're re we're gonna restore a old S10 or. A Mustang, or we're gonna build a rat rod. If we start off. making a lot of money on these videos, we will actually fix the Ford up until it looks like. Alright, guys, we're about to have to end this video, so I'm gonna finish Let's the go. story. <laughs> so, basically, I hit the wire. Like I said, it wrapped, wrapped. So my dad, he always sells me a bucket on the helmet. This time we were racing to the quad, so it was either I was gonna get on the Razor or the Fuller. Whoever got out there first. Keep in mind, the Razor was like another hundred foot away. So I'm like, yeah, fuck that. I just jumped on the floor of the crunk it. I, I gave him a ride up to the Razor. Started going through the trails and all that. So, whenever it did it, my dad told me, buckle it on your helmet. I threw on my helmet, took off. I forgot to buckle it, which saved my life, honestly. Because, so, it went like this. Like, the pretend this is the wire, basically. It went like that. And then it went up. Like, I had big scratches right here all the way over my face. If I did not, if I buckled down that helmet, because keep in mind, this helmet is a racing helmet. It's like a good helmet. So if I would have buckled it down the the strap, the strap, I just like, instead of buckling it down, I just like pulled it through, pulled it through. Which this one has like heavy doodle metal buckets, like climbing things. I didn't clip it. And then it's still like the mark right here, like right here, on, like from the helmet clip. But whenever the helmet came off, See, like, on my 300, it's a piece of junk now because me and my brother ratted it out. But, so, like, right here, this is basically what the full load is. It's got a thing that you just chill up on if you're on the back. I went like this to slide off, but I couldn't, and so it just kept on, kept on. And I had a dip in, like, I had a massive dip in. I don't know what they're called, but the little things that keep, um, you can sit back and lay back on, and you keep stuff in them. Now, I'll tell you what. If I grab his neck and choke him right now, he will die because he has internal bleeding. Yeah, it still bleeds, and that was like two years ago. It still, it still has bleeding. And that's why sometimes I'll cough up blood and just random shit. <laughs> I, and I was sitting there that day on the, um, eating cake. Um, it was something I bought from the store, or whatever. It was like um, I, I texted him. I said, "I'm about to die, bro." And I was, I looked at my phone. and I was like, "Chase is lying." And then all of a sudden, he sent me a picture of his neck, and I was like. What the fuck happened to you? And then I saw him on the bus, and his neck was all swelled up like that, and his face had all scratches on it. He's like, he's like, oh, I must die. There was nothing. I was like, <laughs> I was like, well, he missed a few days, and I was like, dude, are you are you okay, man? Are you dead? Because I was at the hospital. They were about to have to cut me from here all the way down. Like, they were going to have to, like, cut my heart. Like, they were going to have to stop my heart for, like, three seconds to go through all this. And you think he's almost died. I'll tell you a story he, later. He, he he's had a pretty good death. <laughs> <laughs> but um, honestly, though, I've had two. It didn't hurt that bad. Um, I mean, it didn't really hurt that bad. The weird thing is, that I've had a worse crash, and it didn't, and it hurt more. Like that's what's bad about it. Like you can, honestly though, like whenever it happened, I was like, I was in shock. I was like, what the fuck just happened? Like, I mean, like. I had dip, like, my friend thought I was fucking bleeding. I had fucking, like, red dip coming out of my throat. Like, it, it had a little bit of blood in it, but it was mainly dip, just... And his mom will freak out about everything now. So, she's, like, she, um, she, when she saw that, it was, like, insane. She was so scared that Chase almost was, like, gone. So, basically, my friend, so, these adults that were coming up to the party with us, they saw the four-wheel. They didn't see me. They just kept on driving. I know. Anyways, guys... So, he picked me up, and I'm freaking, I'm pretty heavy. He picked me up. That motherfucker put me inside of the razor. He said, before he did that, he said, do you want me to leave you here? Do you want me to get your mom? What do you want me to do? I said, get me inside of that damn razor. I ain't laying on the side of the road. That motherfucker picked me up, put me in, like, the back of it, because it's, like, a, almost like a trunk. No, it's like a, um, a mule, a mule, like the drive, the things that you drive around. Put me in the back of it. We rolled up there, and... My, I, I told him, don't, don't get my mom. I said, go get my dad. Don't get my mom. So he went and got my dad. My dad carried me in. Because it, honestly, I couldn't walk. Like, that's how bad it was. It hurt to walk. Like, when, every time I walked, my dog would go pop. So, basically, after all that, I sat inside for a little bit. My mom came in there and said, hey, what are you doing? Are you just going to stay inside? I'm like, I'm like, 
yeah, sure, I'm gonna stay inside. And yeah, she's like, in the pool. she's like, what the fuck happened to you? She started flipping out, bro. I'm like, nothing, mom. She goes, all right, well, where do you want to watch this all the cup still? And I'm like, I can't move my neck. Like, my neck was like this. And this time. guy's like, hell yeah, I ain't missing once in a lifetime. Yeah. yeah. Fucking set so I, got inside, I got inside the pool and laid on my back and watched it. And I you know something that's more funny? I got on the same floor the same exact day. And I've had a cut, mind. and I've gotten that chlorine, or salt water, because his brother, uh, cause it's the coda can't water. stand it. So, well, see, it, it wasn't burnt my hand. It didn't cut into it, it just swallowed it up. And, and like, it burnt my hand, so I wondered how he feels, probably. But, what I'm saying, um, we're probably going to have to finish this story if there's a little bit more. That's basically it. And, I mean, like, everybody wanted to rush up to me and... Do stuff, but if y'all want part two on it, like I can explain some more stuff. Like, like the I, I don't know if stuff. you can still see like the like scar, the, like the line right there. Yeah, it's like a little it's an indent. Um, if y'all want me to do a part two about like the hospital stuff, comment down below. I'll do it. But peace out.